What is going on, guys? We are back with our Las Vegas Raiders franchise, finally into some more gameplay. Uh, the offseason was a hell of a roller coaster ride, and we're kind of left in the dust in the worst spot out of everyone, right? Derek Carr's probably happy. Devontae Adams, probably happy. Washington, I would assume, is happy. We are basically just dead in the water. Like, I don't even know what the hell we're going to do here. But I did sign some free agents, some rookies, that uh, may look to play long-term on the team. Uh, of course, Ian Reynolds is not a rookie. Well, he is a rookie, but he's not a guy. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. His chances of starting are kind of low. This is basically Mac Jones, but even worse. Um, but... Obviously, we signed Tyler Huntley to a two-year, $6 million deal, I believe. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky was a one-year seven, who has the, of course, front-running lead on the position for uh, the starting job. You know, very good with... I mean, he's a little slower than I would have thought. I thought he'd have been a little bit faster than that, but decent speed, uh, good throwing ability, uh, just adequate, right? Like This is the kind of guy you want on your roster just in case your quarterback situation takes a tumble with an injury or whatever, or he decides to demand a trade uh, because he wants to be back with his old college buddy. But that's obviously the starter right for for right now. Not by a whole lot, but enough. Uh, and then, of course, I signed a free agent, Dwayne McKenzie, uh, decently fast, actually. Uh, I didn't see him in the draft, but then again, I didn't look through everyone because... A, it was really annoying, and B, uh, the guys we had that were higher were already bad enough, so I figured anyone undrafted was not going to be good. Very usable. Basically, everyone on this team can't throw for crap. They have no throw power at all. Uh, he's decent at throwing short. He's, he's matched up with uh, Huntley worse than Reynolds. Slightly better in the medium accuracy than Huntley. Uh, slightly better than Reynolds. Deep accuracy takes a little bit of a hit, 69 to 72 to 70. Throw on the run is just as good as pretty much everyone, but uh, Trubisky, throw under pressure, slightly worse than Huntley, but a lot better than Reynolds. Break sack is about the same with everyone. I mean, he seems pretty decent. Like, uh, he's got a little bit of jukeability. I mean, he's kind of like the wild card. Like, I feel like he's, he's a guy that, uh, I mean, is going to have a chance to compete for this job. If I had to guess... How it may go is Trubisky, McKenzie, Huntley. The problem is I would prefer... Well, I mean, I want McKenzie to have a chance, but like we can't get rid of anyone else. So are we really going to field four quarterbacks? I have no idea. But looking at the running backs, obviously everything's pretty much the same. Uh, we have uh, Jacoby Burgess was a rookie from free agency. Really nothing super special about him at all, but, you know, got to get some new faces on the roster, especially at the running back spot. Uh, Armstead kind of replaces the... I wouldn't say he's like a super trucking back, but replaces, uh, what's his name? Bo Scarborough, that's the guy. Receivers, uh, we kind of have our number one, two, and three, but I also seen a couple of free agents that look interesting. Thomas Cooper, uh, 93 speed, 95 excel, 92 agility. Change of direction obviously sucks, but decent. Will automatically start at the return game for sure, but who knows? Maybe he gets himself in the starting lineup. Uh, we also had uh, Arthur Ramsey, who's kind of like a 6'4", and he's 6'4", 229. Kind of reminds me of Edwards a little bit, but a little bit more athletic on top of it. And once again, look at this guy to potentially steal some snaps too. Uh, jumping's a little lower than I would have thought, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, as far as the uh, rookie O-lineman, nothing special, but this guy kind of you know, interests me. Six foot seven, 337 pounds, Kenny Evans. I think, actually, even though he signed him as a left tackle... I think we're going to put him at right tackle, which, of course, would be an easier job anyways to learn, especially for a rookie. So he's going to be backing up Leatherwood, and if, you know, someone gets injured, tackle spot, he'd be the first guy in, in my opinion. Decent-looking uh, guard there with speed, at least. There's obviously O'Brien, who we drafted. Uh, obviously, Kappa, the new guy that we uh, signed in free agency. There's the tackle spot. Uh, and Will Robbins, a superstar development trade. He's going to be competing for snaps with a few guys, but overall right now, it looks like Max Crosby, Gresham, and Ngakwe are the starters. Maybe Robbins comes in a few times. I don't know. Cleveland Farrell makes the full move to DT uh, as he is the rush DT, basically. Uh, Cardell Byers is going to be the number three DT, but maybe mix in with uh, Jaron Reed a little bit just because they're kind of similarly built. But Byers has such a higher, you know, ceiling for one. And two is obviously way more athletic on top of it. 
Uh, outside linebacker, that's the one position we really neglected, the linebacker spot. We actually didn't improve it at all. We might have to make a, uh, a trade or something. There just wasn't a great option there, and we just kind of ignored it. We also have a bunch of youngster corners, a couple of youngster safeties. That's not true, apparently. And that's pretty much the roster. That's that's what we're going to start with. And then, um, yeah, we, uh, we play the first game. We see what happens, and hopefully... Uh, we have a couple of, uh, you know, maybe new names to add to the starting roster. But here we are in Chicago for a nighttime game. Obviously, uh, should be a fun one, right? This is going to be a, a tough task. I know the, the Bears' defense's corners aren't usually that great. I don't know who they drafted, but overall, uh, am I supposed to know how those rank? Like, all short pass. That seems decent, I guess. But uh, overall, the Bears' defense is good, even though their corners are kind of lacking. So this is a good test early on to see what our passing game may look like, which also kind of scares me a little bit. Obviously, we're coming out with a lot of the same names, but some very important positions not being the same. Of course, Richie Incognito's regressed a little bit. That age is catching up to him. It may even be his last year on the team. And then obviously, the quarterback situation. Mitchell Trubisky is getting another chance at this thing to become a starting quarterback does he have it in him? That's the question. Does he have it in him to become the starter the Bears wanted him to be, ironically enough, against his former team? So uh, this is uh, this is going to be an interesting one. Definitely going to be an interesting one. Try to limit the snaps for some of the guaranteed starters. Like we obviously know uh, the defensive player of the year, Clellan Farrell, is uh, obviously somebody that's going to start. There's a lot of guys we know are going to start. I want to get some snaps for Gresham. I want to get some snaps for uh, for some of the cornerbacks. And then obviously the uh, the offense needs a lot of snaps. Quarterback, wide receivers, there's some new names. And uh, obviously with the offensive line unit. There's a couple of new names in there. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Here it is, the first look at the defense. And don't worry about the quarter length. That's just, just to be here. You know, we are simming a decent bit of these games usually. And off the first play... We sell, but Jaron Reed gets the sack. Gresham's going to get a little bit of credit off of it. Misses the play, dude. You can't miss. You had a chance, and you miss. He got absolutely freaking rolled, though, speaking of. Justin Fields just throws him down. That freaking sore arm coming off that freaking injury in his senior year. Look at freaking Colin Farrell dies. And Colin Farrell with the spin move has the running back help as well. They've done their homework. And Zach Ertz joining the Bears. Not a, the worst fit in the world, actually. Uh, and the Bears are already looking at a third and 15. This pass rush adding a bit of uh, athleticism off the edge there with Gresham. Already seeing it and pushing him in. And there goes Jaron Reed again. Getting the sack now up to one and a half. Of course, the first one, not really much he did. But, you know, obviously he'll take the credit anytime he can get it. And Kenyon Drake back there to return. Going to be probably mainly returning punts, not kicks this year. Thomas Cooper looks to be the strong-suited front runner for that position. And here comes the offense, the new look offense, the new right guard, the new quarterback, whoever it may be. Obviously, Trubisky has the job now, but that's only because of our lacking at the position. And a couple of new backups at wide receiver. First play, Jacobs. Let's, uh, let's familiarize Trubisky with what we do around here. And that is, of course, run the damn ball into the ground. Rugs could be the main look. Let's see what Trubisky's got in him. And there goes Hunter Renfro. Not a bad throw right on the money to the 41-yard line. Cooper on the streak. Obviously, he has a burning attitude. I don't know what that means. But under pressure again, Trubisky delivers the ball again. Not a bad start for the Trubisky. Let's go to the left, Trubisky. Handing the ball off, and Jacobs really not getting the blocks today. Obviously, they are kind of sending players in here and there. Uh, obviously, Darren Waller, he doesn't really need to play that much anyways. But this this offense for this week, definitely not the greatest when it comes to involving the tight end. But speaking of involving the tight end, first down again. That is now three for three for the Biscuit. And I kind of hope he doesn't win the job just because I'll keep calling him Biscuit. <laughs> Up the middle, Jacobs finally getting some blocks, and he's going to turn it into about nine. I will say, I'm a little worried that Jacobs could be the next guy potentially asking to leave. It kind of depends on how the season plays out, I suppose. Is this the year he actually needs a contract? So things could get really dicey. And Hunter Renfro going to try to just gain the first. Can't. He's a yard short, maybe two yards short now. 
after the loss. And they're obviously going to be coming with some sort of heat seeking missile. And that is way up there. And Edwards holds on. That man is a jump ball freak. Ramsey comes in here thinking, hey, you know, I can probably steal the job on this Edwards guy. Not so fast. Not so fast. And we're going to get locked up. And there goes Max Crosby. Of course, the Bears offensive line, definitely not the greatest, a bottom five unit in the league. And we're obviously seeing that they did not invest in the offseason at all. If anything, it looks like their right tackle is one of the backup tackles I've seen. Is that not a backup? Oh, there it goes. Speaking of the offensive line, though, they get a huge run. And superstar of elementary David Montgomery gets the truck. And Clellan double teamed again. Gets through anyways, though. And there's a lot of players coming in there. And Justin Fields does a good job navigating. Gaining two only, though, on the play. And Abram off the edge could be our guy. And there's a flag. Is, oh, is Abram off? And he's just going to hoof it. Why not? It's a free play, and it's a little overthrown. Just a little. Trusting the coverage of everyone. Going to run over with Abram last second. We get torched. Mullen, and he misses the tackle. Ertz is running, and of course, he's a little bit slower now in his older age. Not that he was always the fastest guy in the world anyways. Gets to the seven. And Kwiatkowski, great coverage. And Gresham, maybe a little bit of a late hit on... Fields, but that's fine. Edwards over the middle. Waller, there's really nowhere there. And that's a little overthrown. Waller had a chance at it, though. Let's get a little in-cut from my boy Renfro. And Edwards is the deep man here. And inside, Trubisky with the miss. A pretty good showing from Trubisky. Not the way he wanted to end his night, but... Obviously, uh, you know, it was all right. Of course, Huntley wearing number two, uh, one because number two was taken by Daniel Carlson, the, the true goat of this roster. Huntley on the run, perfect throw. I mean, you got to find who you can on those rollout plays. Uh, you know, don't really get a good look at the deeper spot unless you have insane throw power because obviously those guys, are, uh, those guys are running after us on that edge. How do you put players in the practice squad? If they're eligible, I think you can just look at the... Um, what is that called? You guys look at the roster and click on one of the players and then it'll be on like near the release. Tyree Cleveland. Oh, speaking of Tyree Cleveland, it's a dot and he's going to slip it down to the 41-yard line. Well, some of them aren't backups, obviously, just like our offensive line isn't all backups. And Moreau inside is going to get the catch to the 27-yard line. So far right now, I don't know who I would say is like the starting quarterback. Trubisky was decent. But Hundley's showing right now that, I mean, everyone's kind of looking decent. And there is nowhere to go as we get insta-taken down uh, by the Chicago Bears there. Mr. Gibson, I have no idea who that is. But we had zero chance to freaking make a play on that one. But Day, the fast player coming from free agency. And there's more pressure again. Handles it well. Gets us kind of near the line of scrimmage. It's not really good testing grounds. And there goes Huntley trying to run. And on the run, delivers a strike to Bidet for the score. That is beautiful. And man, this quarterback freaking uh, competition is heating up. I, do, I really do not know, like, who's the guy. I know it's a little early, but like, geez. And here's Mr. Robbins. We're not going to look too much at the defense because a lot of the guys, we kind of know the starters. We just don't know the backups necessarily. Uh, but Robbins is definitely a guy you want to pay attention to. Really high developmental guy, but really low readiness for right now. We also have Byers, who could easily steal Jaron Reed's job, even though he definitely won't be able to beat his first half performance. He was beautiful in that. And there goes Mr. Jaron Reed, who is still in the game and comes away with that one. I mean, he's just insane. The The guy is just crazy. And is that the linebacker? We do need a backup tight end. Like if We have some injuries. We're in some trouble. And here goes Huntley on the run again and just delivers a perfect ball yet again. Who's the quarterback? I, I don't know, dude. I really don't. I, I mean, Trubisky was decent, but if I were to give it between the two quarterbacks right now, Huntley would get the nod, simply put. Just that little bit that he's done. And, I mean, he can run like a freaking madman as well. Trubisky's not too slow himself, but he's not Huntley fast. Definitely not Huntley fast. 
<laughs> Louie, man. The fact that he's in, bro. <laughs> we really need a backup here. Little quick throw. Ooh, ooh, hey. Hey, Huntley. Hey, I said, uh, you know, right now you'd be the starter. I'm not saying you're guaranteed to be the starter. That's a type of throw that uh, loses you the starting job. That is terrible. Kenyon Drake up the middle. I mean, if I had asked Kenyon Drake who he thinks he should have at the quarterback, I don't know if he's going to say you after that one. That was a bit of an L. And Huntley on the run again. Cross his body, and he drops it. That was an insane throw. All right, McKenzie enters now. Huntley outside of that little missed throw. Perfect start. And basically the starter going into preseason game two. But now it's McKenzie's turn to shine. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to do anything really to get himself as the number two guy. Trubisky also played pretty well. Not as well, but he was going against the number ones. But that's why you have those preseason games. You give him another chance and we'll see how they play. And there goes Kenyon Drake, of course. No question about it. Automatically on the roster is either the number one or two. And I said I gotta say number one or two because there's been a lot of times where sometimes I think if Kenyon Drake was the starter, you know, what kind of game would we have where, you know, Jacobs is struggling? Play action. McKenzie crosses body right on the money to Cooper. The offense looks alright. They definitely look alright. Cooper's going against the backups now, and even though we have backup receivers in, we do have a lot of speed as our at our backup spots. And there to Chisney, uh, it's a perfectly thrown ball. And this quarterback comp is, it is, it is tough. Uh, first attempt from the 13 yard line, slants. Gonna go to Moreau who scores. Instantaneous touchdown, McKenzie does it. I will say, I don't think Trubisky had a touchdown scoring drive. I don't, I mean, it doesn't prove anything necessarily, but just saying, just throwing that out there. And we probably had that. That's our fault. Oh, he just gets absolutely closed in on. But uh, obviously a very good showing, a very surprising showing. I know in the past we've seen you know, teams like the Browns, I believe, and the Lions go, uh, you know, 4-0 in preseason, and then they just suck in the regular season. But eh, maybe the team doesn't need Carr. I don't know. I'm just saying. The, res the quarterbacks look good. Obviously, the once again, the Bears' uh, secondary is not great. Uh, but overall, these are the numbers. There's a lot of lo things to like here. Trubisky had a touchdown, 4 for 6, 45 yards. Uh, Huntley, 151 passer rating, uh, 206, two touchdowns. McKenzie, 12 for 16, 139, two touchdowns. Everyone looked really good. Trubisky was the only one to play the starters, though. Like they, He played with and against starters. So next week with Huntley, rightfully so, earning the role at number one. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if the man can uh, get the job done. His ideal sense, ideal forcing. He's got some pretty good traits for a quarterback. Ooh, that injury and stamina, though. Is he able to stay healthy for a full season? I don't know, dude. I really don't. Uh, aggressive forcing, ideal sense of pressure as well. Some pretty decent traits. Good injury, stamina, and toughness. Juke abilities up there. I mean, Dwayne McKenzie seems like Tyler Huntley, but... A little bit younger, so he has more of a chance. I have no idea. Uh, but I suppose, let us move on to week two of the preseason, where we will likely release a few players. All right, so uh, we have a ton of wide receivers, and you could already tell that Arthur Ramsey did not get a chance at wide receiver in his first preseason game. He's going to be playing tight end. He's going to move to tight end, and we're going to see how he performs at that position. Uh, as far as any other guys that we know, you got to obviously release some players uh, really just going to be some backups that didn't get a chance, but unfortunately there's just not enough room because we obviously have a very good team as is. Leatherwood, uh, we took Alex Leatherwood. Yeah, he does need to improve. Thank you, Richie Incognito. You know, I, I don't know if it's insensitive, but I kind of wish the the bullying everyone, crashing his Ferrari Richie Incognito was still here because someone needs to do something because Alex Leatherwood is not getting the point. He is not getting the point, and thankfully somebody's showing some interest in him because... Honestly, I've almost given up already. He <laughs> just he's he's played okay, but man, he is off to a pretty slow start at upgrading and you know, he looks like the worst lineman on the team right now, I'm just going to be honest. Well, at least starting wise, obviously we have some backups that are Yeah, no, let's not talk about him. All right, we're at home and Huntley, the pressure is on. Obviously, anyone that has the starting role for the day 
at the quarterback spot has the chance to hold it. You know, you're unlikely to win the starting job as the number three going into these games, so it's a very big opportunity here for Mr. Tyler Huntley, who had a nice couple of highlight plays and some overall just good footballing. But starting off against the Panthers, they are looking to stop the run. We're going to show them we don't run the ball ever. Oh, uh, we had Waller. Stay there, buddy. And there's a little underthrown, but a little bit of pressure. Maybe it would have been better for him just to throw on the run because he's pretty good at it. Maybe even just run in general. We missed Waller there because it was focused on the left side, and Ruggs really ran a terrible route. Like, he really did. And we're just going to take Waller. Gets the feet down. It's about six or seven. Even though we know what our run game's about, we want to make sure that, you know, they're believing in the run so then we can actually test the passers and... Maybe we don't know what our running's about, because I felt like we had that blocked up well, and we just didn't. And we're going to try to throw that in low, and it's inaccurate. Definitely not what we were looking for there from Mr. Tyler Huntley. Had a chance to easily fit that in, doesn't get it. And now, even though we need three, we're kind of setting up a lot deep. And to the outside, Jacobs, who would expect him to get the ball, and Tyler Huntley redeems himself a little bit there on that one. Not a hard play to make, but... Either was the play before that he missed. And there's just no one open. Throw the ball away. They locked that up. To the outside quickly. And that's a bad read. Could have been picked off there. Huntley on a little kind of a play action sprint here. Not really, but we're going to turn it into it. And he gets absolutely pummeled there. As that right tackle spot gets swarmed. Are the tackles flipped or do we have someone new playing tackle? And Huntley's on the run. And he's just going to have to run in general. Tries to take a hit for the squad. Gets 12. Not a tit, but a hit. And Kappa's injured. That is not a good sign at all. Fourth and four. It's, it's once again, preseason. We didn't give up any points last time. Anyways, we're going to try it again. And there goes Hunter Renfro. Easy read. Hunter Renfro tries to get the cut. Cannot. And there goes Huntley trying to run. And look at the space. With Huntley's speed, he may have gotten 30 or 40. Huntley's trying to grind, but overall, it's just not looking good. I'm going to take that quick throw, and oh my. This is why I don't want to play Waller too much, is he gets absolutely lit up. This has been a very bad showing. Not that it's necessarily Huntley's fault, but as the quarterback, your job is to get the job done no matter what. And we really need this to be a good play, and he delivers... Hunter Renfro tries to slip it left. Really good blocking. Great job by Huntley using one of his better assets, his feet. And, uh, of course, turns that into a big play, a huge play on third and what seemed like forever. Huntley on the play action. Has a chance at Waller. We want more, though. And we're just going to flip it to him. That was kind of filthy, actually. And Waller will get almost the first down. A lot of rolling out. Could actually see that a lot this season. Especially with the uh, the speed of most of our quarterbacks here. And that's pretty good coverage. That pick isn't a throwing accuracy pick, but more of a, a decision pick. Uh, Ronnie Harrison, the new Panther, apparently, he uh, he never gave up on that play. He just kept on backing up, and it, it paid off. Got a pick. Oh, a chance to get off the field. Well, maybe not off the field, but a chance to knock it out and... Who is this, guys? Is this a receiver? It is. Okay, I thought it said 33. Is that DJ Moore? What number did DJ Moore used to wear? There goes Clellan. Forcing pressure, and thankfully so. Because if he had a little more time to actually fit the ball rather than just kind of throw it up there, he probably gets that in between. In the new corner. I'm not saying you're projected to be like some god. Another hit. Abram all over it. And goes for the knockdown instead of the pick. A little dangerous. Coming by, and oh, we get handled. Look at Jaron Reed. Jaron Reed has earned the job. He's 100% earned the job. Obviously, Clellan Farrell will be the number one, but you know there was maybe talks about the rookie potentially stealing his spot, but nah, Jaron Reed's got it. He's he's locked it up. He has been insane. And here in between, good find, and Shaq Thompson's obviously still a pretty good linebacker. Would love to see one of these juke moves work, though, I will say. Wrong side, but Huntley's obviously very athletic. We'd lovely to see this. Very tough throw on the run. Delivers it perfectly. I'm telling you about this Huntley guy. It seems like he's 
he's able to hit the tougher throws before the easier stay in the pocket throws. I don't know. Strange. No matter how bad the offensive line was playing, he stood in there and just delivered time and time again. Really bad route running. Really bad throw, though, by Huntley. Third and five. I mean, he's third downs. He's really not been very good. Of course, it works out because Edwards is able to uh, recover, but man, that is a very tragic throw from that short. Waller on the run. It is delivered perfectly. Read option. Huntley, there's no one in sight. Let the young man live. Let him celebrate. They absolutely took the bait on that one. Drew Biscuit, chance to redeem. And there's really no one there. He's just going to take the shot. And that could have been picked. Trubisky. And there's Hunter Renfro. And yes, there's pressure, but that's a throw you got to hit. These quarterbacks in general have not looked good today. McKenzie's got to be very nervous right now, but also very excited for his chance to show who he is. And that is a throw with... Not a whole lot of intent behind it. The throw power lacking there, obviously, it's a third and ten. I will say they're absolutely coming for us in this game, but really bad showing from Trubisky there. And we're we're taking a little long there, but they're they're kind of covering well, man. I gotta give it to him. And there's right down the middle, and he misses it. 0 for 5. By the way, what is happening here? Like, we are getting absolutely smoked. I mean, they're all starters, right? Leatherwood, Simpson, obviously, is replacing Incognito. Nate Davis, who moved over to center. Colton Miller. For some reason, the, the tackles are swapped, though. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it, but yeah. Obviously, did not get a chance to see uh, McKenzie this game yet, but as of right now, McKenzie doesn't even have to step out on the field, and he's basically... Oh, my God, there's no one open. That's, that's just bad play calling, bad play in general. But uh, he's already basically the number two. Trubisky looked pretty decent in game one. Not too much spectacular than the, you know, much more spectacularly than the other guys. But looked decent enough. Hold that number two spot with Huntley jumping in number one. Uh, Huntley was looking primed to drop to number two. Just assuming Trubisky was going to play like his first game. As Huntley had, you know, a bit, bit of struggles himself here. Uh, but right now, I mean, with that being Trubisky's first completed pass... And it being a drag on second and 20, I mean, it's not looking promising. And we're going to look to that, and that is just way underthrown. It obviously needs to get low in there because, uh, you know, that safety's coming, but that is really behind him. All right, McKenzie. I mean, chance to at least be the number two going into next week. Maybe, uh, maybe higher. We'll see. And there's Waller. And that's a perfectly thrown ball. Didn't really like the wind-up too much from McKenzie, but obviously uh, getting that ball out there was clutch. That's the main goal, obviously. Get the ball in. We'll take that quick little throw, and Jacobs, what are you? The worst player of everyone so far has been Jacobs by a mile. By a mile. I don't know what is up with this guy. I know he's not a receiving back, but please, Jacobs, could you wake up? This guy thinks it's a game. And, of course, we have the run look, but McKenzie going to show off his legs. And look at him run. You know, I mean, he, like I said, a younger Huntley, very similar. Very similar player. Going to take the drag. The out route did not look great. Ruggs not even looking that great. Obviously, Waller's always going to be good, so I'm not worried about that. But Ruggs not looking super great. Jacob's looking awful. And there's a quick throw, and that's going to be picked off. I can't tell exactly what happened there. I think Chin just made a sick play. I really think that's the case. To be fair, Waller keeps running away. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Yeah, I think it's just a bad time. Can we have somebody want to win the starting job, please? Third and seven with really no quarterback currently playing well. Somebody get up the field. Oh, he delivering! Oh, and there goes Tyree Cleveland, who's been good for several deep plays. McKenzie drops one in. Perfect. And under pressure, that's a pretty good throw. And, yep. Ramsey sighting. First Ramsey sighting of preseason. And we're just about to hit that throw over to B. They absolutely hate the deep game. 
And that is a perfect throw on the money to Kenyon Drake down to the two. So even with that, that interception, which really, I mean, who's to say whose fault it was? Probably mine. Um, <laughs> uh, would you really say that it's... Oh my, that is really bad by us to throw it on the run. But would you say McKenzie's the number two now? I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't think Hundley's done enough to be the number one, but I also think Trubisky wasn't good at all, so you kind of have to choose that. And there's nobody blocking him. Really, Kenyon Drake. And there's nobody freaking... I mean, there's, there's no one open for the touchdown. Reynolds, the man! Like I said, wasn't likely to get a starting job chance. But with the way everyone's played today, I think it's only fair. If everyone would have been average or decent this game, I think you, you say, hey, you know what? We appreciate you, Reynolds. We drafted you decently high. I'm sorry. We just don't have a spot for you, but he's going to get a chance. Could you imagine he is the starting quarterback for us this upcoming season? Could you imagine? On the run, and <laughs> that was... I get he has low throw power, but the way he cranked his arm like he was delivering a ball 50 yards down the field gets a chuckle out of me. I'm just going to say it. Gets a little chuckle out of me. Throws an inside. Perfect throw to, to Tyree. I don't know why they haven't like decided to do that. Quick throw to the outside, of course. Kind of seeing the field really well here with uh, Mac Jones, point eight. I mean, does Reynolds actually have a, ch a chance? Does he actually have a chance at this thing? And dropped by Foster Moreau. And that is really badly thrown. I think under that situation, throwing a shot to the six foot four guy is a very good decision. And unfortunately, it leads to nothing because the ball was just awfully placed. How do you overthrow the ball when you have no throw power? Oh my, there's... Okay, so... Uh... I will say, Ian Reynolds absolutely just shot himself in both feet. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened to Reynolds. I could not tell you. Like, Reynolds looked really good at his first couple of snaps, and then he just took a crap. And that is... See, the thing I'm noticing with Reynolds the most, besides the very inaccurate balls at times, is that throw power, man. That that ball is just hanging. I don't know. I feel like he sees the field better, but he just doesn't have the arm talent. You know? He why Oh, there goes Foster Moreau has had himself a preseason. He really has. He has been one of the most impressive players in this entire preseason outside of maybe Tyree Cleveland. To the outside, and he misses a lot. Reynolds is done. I think Reynolds is released. I think Reynolds is out of here. Is this the one where the kicker gets a chance at it? Imagine. Literally better than Reynolds. Oh my god. Five. Five quarterback system. So looking at the game, uh, I mean, really no quarterback outside of Daniel Carlson uh, had a good game. Even Darnold, you know, his completion percentage was low. Uh, Look at the numbers for Huntley, 64% completion percentage. Reynolds, <laughs> I think we were right to not give him a chance. He, he kind of just, right after we drafted him, we just kind of saw what we saw in training camp, and we just knew he wasn't going to be good. Trubisky was still almost the worst. I still have to give it to Reynolds was the worst. I mean, Trubisky was under immense pressure the whole time. Reynolds, there was some clean looks where he just completely missed. All right, so Leatherwood, the guy that uh, was apparently working with Richie Incognito all offseason... Uh, got an upgrade point. Really didn't get him that much. He's already okay at pa uh, power stuff, so it is what it is. And then Henry Ruggs, fair enough there. But yeah, back to John Madden football, baby. First throw, <laughs> not not so good. A little bit of pressure. And where are we going to go? Over the middle, we're going to go. It's a little underthrown. We do get it there, but it's underthrown. It's, it's factual. There you go, Jacobs. There you go. Huntley, potential quick throw over to Edwards. Gets it. Edwards got a chance. Look at the block. Edwards tries the truck. Can't. Jimmy Ward apparently still, I would assume that's him, still on the Niners. Still grinding out. Let's get Jacobs to the right. Maybe draw off one of the linebackers. And there is no one on Jacobs. Jacobs is going to catch that edge and score. 
That was a really good last second decision. Everything moving from the right to the left. The Raiders, the boys are feeling good, and, and they should. Really good start to the final preseason game after a little bit of a shaky one in the first and second. Oh, please, Huntley. Show me what you got. I can't tell if he's getting that. Oh, it's a dime! It's so hard to tell. It's so hard to tell. I think that's QB1, baby. That may be QB1. And huge hits by uh, Mr. Max Crosby there. Inside and a little underthrown. A little bit of pressure there. I ain't going to blame him. Waller and some of these throws. Not really where I want them. I want them a little shorter. I wanted it all. Come on. Uh, Waller? Oh, Waller gets back to it and is in. Huntley's number one. Huntley is number one. But I suppose it's only fair to let McKenzie have a chance, I guess. Plus, you probably want, uh, you know, a definitive number two. I still can't believe Trubisky's looking to potentially lose the starting job here to a bunch of backups. <laughs> Non-starters in their career. That's harsh. There goes a pretty good throw by McKenzie to Renfro. I mean, I get it. Trubisky is, you know, probably deserves his chance too. But I think if if McKenzie plays well enough here, I think Trubisky falls to number three. Which I mean, I don't care about the seven mil, right? Like it's it's a fraction of what Derek Carr would have made. It's nice to have a secure backup. And oh my, what a throw! Oh my God, how? 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 These guys are going nuts today. And we, uh, we got, the, what a play by Foster, but we got baited out by Fred Warner there. Fred Warner just kept freaking backpedaling, dude. He kept backpedaling, and I was like, at some point, he's gonna, he's gonna step up, and we're gonna have him behind, and it never happened. Should have taken it. Here's a chance. Another perfect throw down to the one. Oh my. If there was a fourth preseason game, there would be some attendance. <laughs> That's too easy. Waller's just a god. Like, who's who's the guy? If McKenzie has another sick drive here, like, who's the guy? Does Huntley lose his job somehow? I don't... I don't think so, but... I mean, on the run... Both of these quarterbacks have been insane. I kind of need McKenzie to just sell here. I mean, that's on the money as well. And look at Ruggs. Ruggs is like, I don't give a who, damn who the quarterback is. unless they, As long as they can get me when I'm wide open like I always am, I'm cool. You know, assuming it goes live on Saturday. Oh, Jesus. Fred Warner. And there goes another touchdown. I don't know. I, I'm Week one, looking like Trubisky. Week two, looking like Huntley. Week three looking like Huntley, then McKenzie comes in. I was going to say, you know what? Huntley's got the job. He showed it up. I, I don't know, dude. Because all the starters were in for McKenzie's drives as well. I mean, how do you decide? Like, you just... Trubisky looks like the very uh, average player that looks decent. But McKenzie and Huntley look like they have the it factor. I have no idea who to choose. This is going to be something. And look at Ruggs with 230 yards... That guy had himself a day. That guy had himself a day for sure. The rookie coming up. Jaron Reed has been a really good big pickup for us. Obviously, we're hoping that translates to the regular season, but we'll see. Anyways, that is pretty much the preseason for season two. Obviously, had a very exciting one. Some insane throws, some ups and downs, some uh, you know, in revealing things about some of the new players on the team. Uh, I'm very interested to see how our defense hopefully improves and how the quarterback situation is going to develop as we don't even know who the starter is yet. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be like a, a game time decision, but you definitely won't know until next week. I am not 100% sure, honestly. There's probably going to be a poll in a couple hours on the community tab about who it should be, whether it's Huntley or McKenzie. Trubisky, I mean, he was all right, but I just think those two definitely showed themselves above him especially for guys that are that much younger and never even had a chance. I just think Trubisky should have easily outshined them, and he just didn't. He was worse. So at the end of the day, I think it's between those two. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I, I definitely did, and I can't wait to get the season going. Uh, once again, if you like this video, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, PK Plays, which we actually uploaded Far Cry 6 Part 1. 
Uh, very fun game, it seems, so far, and, you know, it looks pretty damn good. Hopefully get that series uh, finished. Uh, you know, obviously, I want to finish the game, so hopefully that's the case. And speaking of, twitch.tv slash care for, uh, you know, not in, in non modern stuff like Far Cry, like Back for Blood, maybe Forza when that comes out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video, but until next video, which should be a rebuild tomorrow, see ya!